Hello guys, what's up? Today I am going to explain you how the ADC for our project is going to work. So ADC means analog to digital converter. So first of all we are going to remember that our signal it is going to be from 1 to 5 volts. That it is going to be the signal that we are going to introduce in Arduino and why? because we have the output this is milliamps and this is 0 0.0 This is the vibration we have, you remember, right, in the last video. To 0 0.4. This is vibration. And in inches per vibration is measured in, in inches per second. And it is going to be linear like this. And the signal that we are going to introduce to Arduino is an equivalent Because with the resistor we can with the resistor of 250 we can convert the signals from the current signal into a voltage signal because of using the Ohm's law. We have something it's a line actually. So we have this. And we are going to introduce the voltage from 0 to 5 to our Arduino. Voltage. And this is this is time, voltage and time. And as you know our vibration that the output of our vibration transmitter is going to be 0 0.1 when it is working well vibration of 0 0.2 inches per second is still working well 0 0.3 doesn't work well and 0 0.4 we need to change that immediately and for example if you buy uh, very a pump with very good quality it it can last like five years, six years. So in maybe six years, it's in six years it's going to be 0 0.2, and maybe in eight years, depending on where it's going to work the pump or or for what are you going to use it. But we suppose that maybe in 0 0.3 inches per second it's gonna be in five years so here we have for example five years and uh, 0 0.3 approximately as piece of here 0 0.3 the equivalent is 16 milliamps so 0 0.3 we have that here is 16 milliamps because it's here 
here and if we have here 16 milliamps the equivalent here it's going to be 4 volts you can do the calculation if you want but at the end you are going to get 4 volts so Arduino it's going to receive for example our our pump it, it is working well for five years and after five years our pump it, it is vibrating it is vibrating too high and the transmitter it is going to detect 0 0.3 inches per second the, vi the vibration of of the pump therefore in five years our signal it's going it's gonna be like that so in Arduino in this case we are not going to have a problem because it satisfies the sampling theorem that says that sampling frequency should be at least twice the maximum frequency component of the signal and the maximum frequency component it is going to be in that case 1 divided by the time and here the frequency so the frequency is going to be very high and uh, approximately the maximum frequency the maximum sampling frequency of Arduino is 10k Hertz and obviously we are not going to reach that value that that time approximately it's 10 10 kilohertz and we are not going to to reach that frequency that time because as you see here our frequency one divided by I don't know two three four years the, the our signal it is it is not going to be like like that too fast it is going to be like this hence we are not going to have problems in in the sampling so it satisfies the Nyquist Shannon theorem and we can use it normally here and for example if you are going to use the something the same chart or so the same system we are using here for another project and you your signal it, it is going to be with very with a very high frequency you need to check if your sampling if your frequency it is going to satisfy the Nike's theorem and if it satisfies you can reconstruct your signal normally and if it doesn't satisfy you won't be able to to make your your analog to digital converter maybe you need to use a better ADC but for the moment we are for this project it is it is it works perfectly so we are going to have our signal from 1 to 5 through the time and we're going to start from here it's going to be like that so Arduino it's it is uh, the, the Arduino ADC has 10 bits resolution 10 bits resolution so 
that means that we are going to have two ten here values that it is going to be equal to one thousand and twenty four values so our signal our five volts sorry Wait a minute. So our five volts our voltage is going to be divided in two thousand and twenty-four steps six volts. This is our signal and we are going to have Four point nine millivolts resolution per unit, and so that means that that means that in this space we are going to have four point nine millivolts. We are going to have its voltage. Okay. So on and so forth. And it starts from zero to thousand and twenty three because here we have the counting from zero to one thousand and twenty three we have the one thousand and twenty four values and because it is a ten bits resolution here the Arduino our digital signal for example Here, um, let me check. Let's let's check for one. For one, it is going to be if one thousand and twenty-three. It is for five volts. One volt. It is going to be check. Approximately a minute. Approximately. Here we are going to have this number and as you see here it is going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, two, four, six, ten. Well, two, four, six, eight, ten. Sorry for that. And so here we are going to have the values that the Arduino is going to assign to our signal 
and in 205 in binary it is going you can convert and it is going to be approximately here and the 5 volts it is going to be here so in in conclusion in our Arduino we are going to have these values because Arduino is going to sample our signal in 1024 steps and the resolution it is going to be 4.9 millivolts per per unit so guys this is how our analog to digital converter is going to work if you have some questions you know you can write down the comments please like and subscribe and in the next video I am going to be explaining how the serial communication it is going to work in our project right here because here we are in we as I explained in the last video how to create a simulator of the vibration transmitter and here we are in the ADC in this video And in the next video, I am going to explain how the serial communication between Arduino and the Raspberry Pi works. I am also going to, to give you my Arduino code. I'm going to show you how it works, programming in the firmware of Arduino. Well guys, this is all for today, thanks for watching my videos and subscribe, see ya!